Hey guys, welcome to my channel where art turns into sport. Well, art turns into good sport. So yeah, I didn't get that beginning either. But I'm going to be telling weird school stories as I draw a picture of a furry at school. Not exactly a furry, but a person at school. One animal person at school, so I guess that's a furry. So yeah, let's get started. So the first weird school story would have to be when I actually met... When I actually asked for a book from the book fair from some random... Well, not random kid, a kid who had the same birthday as me. Um... So, he might be watching this, so this might be weird for him, but who cares? Sorry, the years are a mess, but I'm not done. So, we were out there, and I was talking about how my favorite book was that Stabby Cat book out there. And he was like that he would buy it for me, and I was like, no, you don't have to. But of course, always in your mind, you're like, yes, buy it for me. And then I finally got up the courage to walk up to him and say, can you please buy me that Stabby Cat book? Yeah, he did do it, and I was so happy that I got that book after, and I don't even read it anymore, so I'm going to give it back to him, if he even wants it. <laughs> I don't even know if he liked Stampy. Now we're best friends, and we're in the same class. So that's that story short. <laughs> I know, that arm is extremely ugly, but I'm going to be doing a lot of drawings in this video, so if you get bored, bored of hearing stories and drawing, actually, we're going to turn this into weird stories. How do you think about that? So, another story is when, when I was actually scared of my gym teacher. This was the same gym teacher I have this year, but it was last year. This is actually the first day I've ever seen her. Ever seen her before. And I was really afraid of her because she yelled at me because I accidentally didn't follow one of her rules, which she didn't even tell to me. And she made this, and she said this in a weird way, and it kind of scared me. She said, if you didn't know things, we listen here. And I got really scared that I, that I didn't listen to her. I mean, of course we're good things friends now. Oh, sorry guys, it's it's just it just really hurts to be holding this bell drawing. It she just really scared me at the first time. And it was really weird because in my mind I was laughing and along with my friends they giggled it off too. Like, um, I think she knows that we listen here. She just didn't know. Yeah, I had no idea what the rotating was. Because everyone was just rotating to random places. I didn't know how to do the rotating. Rotating at the time. And she expected me to know what they do. Number one, I didn't do the thing that they did in my school. I didn't rotate when we played badminton. So don't expect me to rotate when I'm playing badminton without knowing even where to rotate. Number one. So, if I don't know where to rotate, either tell me or shush. Or tell me, it's okay, but we rotate this way. So, if she's watching that, that's just my opinion on how things should go, not yelling at them. So, yeah. On to another page. <laughs> So, yeah. Honestly, I never got how schools worked. I just went along with what they were saying. It's really hot in here, so let's turn on this fan. So, a weird story is when I was with my friend. Um, We were at the park. We were at school. It was me and my best friend, Tatum. This guy moved away. 
I believe so, at least. <laughs> I mean, he's not in our school, so probably. Um, his name was Brennan. Um, he was a, a kind of normal kid, but there was something not normal about him that all the girls seemed to notice more than the boys seemed to notice. Why? Because it was what the guy what the guy was doing. He was chasing after us for some odd reason, and he was kissing us. He tapped my he kissed his hand and tapped my friend Tatum on the butt. I was really grossed out, and I almost puked that day. I honestly didn't even want to be alive that day. But I guess I was. <laughs> and if I wasn't alive that day, what day would I would be alive? In the year 2018? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think the YouTube would be out by then. And that's my technically career. Because I have a career when I'm a kid. Yeah, that's how things go around New Jersey. People have careers as a kid. Oh my gosh, that foot is really big. Calm down, Cameron. Big feet, little body, we should say. So, yeah, that's technically one of the stories. <laughs> so now, we're going to be talking about Weird internet experiences. This was a really weird one. And this was by a guy on this thing called Lively. Because I didn't know how to live on YouTube. Of course now I do, so I don't need that app. And I would never use that app in a million years again. There was this... We were... My friend was livelying, and I was with him. And there was this one random guy. Um, I think it was like... Be cool or something. I'm not gonna say his username. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call him Bozo Guy. So Bozo Guy was all up in my face, saying I was pretty and all that. Of course, I took it with the grain of salt at the beginning. I mean, not take it with the grain of salt. I took it with a laugh at at the beginning. But he started to get really serious with me. Like, you're sexy and stuff. I started to gasp. My cousin said, no, 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 no. He almost exited out off of the live, which he did. After he said that he almost would. Then I decided to make a live because I still wanted to live. So, of course, I didn't know that he would find me because I said my username, my username and my YouTube channel. So now he's going to probably be checking out this YouTube channel right now and see these stories. He better not be on here, and he better not comment, or else I will block you in every way that I can. And if you come back in another Google account saying stuff, even if I don't know it's you, I'll block it. Even if it's my boyfriend, I'll block it. Which I'm not going to be telling you my boyfriend's name because I honestly don't want you guys going off pretending to be him. Trying to flirt with me and see if I get along. Because I know that he does not have a phone. And he has an iPad that doesn't even have YouTube on. So, yeah. So those are technically all the weird stories that I have for you today. So I'll see you later. Bye. See you back on Fan Art Fox Tales.